please navigate to MailChimp.com when the page is loaded. Please click next. Okay, I'll click next and I'll accept these cookies as well. Imagine you want to log into your account without clicking. How would you do so? So I'm going to move this down. Um, so I think I would pretty much just click login if I had an account already. Please click the login button. Use these credentials to log into your MailChimp account. Once you've entered the username and password, please click next. Okay, so this is going to be my username. Copy that. Clicking login. And then password test123. The just make sure I got that right. Um, okay, perfect. I like how there has, they have this show here. Usually I feel like it's on the bottom, not really on the top. Um, but overall, I like it. I like because I read left to right, obviously. So I like how there's this panel over here. Um, and then if I forget my username or password, I could click there. So I can keep a login here. I guess this is just like an ad for MailChimp. So would never really look on this right side. But I'm going to log in and click next. Um, so how do you feel about the process of entering your username and password into MailChimp? So um, I thought it was fairly easy. Like I said, I like how you can show your password. I like how if I forgot either my username or password, I could easily um, go there and basically click forget email, forget username or password. Um, although I would like it to be email instead of username. Like I always forget my username, so I'd rather it be my work email. Um, so that would help. But yeah, anyway, so then get personalized advice for your next move. Interesting. Okay, so this, I like how it says typically takes less than 60 seconds. Um, so that's good. So I could click let's do it or X. So I'm going to click X just for now. Please scroll up and down. What are, your initial, what are your first impressions of this product? Once you're finished, please proceed to the next question. Okay, good afternoon. Welcome back to your account dashboard. Check out these performance statistics. What, where are the performance? Oh, I guess these are the performance statistics. I'm wondering where they're tricks. Um, yeah, so I think I'd probably use this, the audience change. So at our company, we have a bunch of integrations into Salesforce and all that. So I'd probably be able to see audience growth from all of our different channels and intercom as well. Um, so that would be interesting to me. I'm curious what sources are. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen sources before. So tip. Okay, so these are good tips. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that they don't stay here forever. Um, kind of want to X them out and maybe more tips can show. Um, so campaign, campaigns, create your first campaign. So I bet I would be able to create my email messaging and uh, be able to send it to a target list. Um, overall, I think it looks pretty clean. I guess these look like big, like these down carrots or whatever. Look like there's probably a lot of stuff in each navigation. So I'm sure that's going to be quite hefty to sift through. Um, but overall, I assume I could pull reports here. Brand, maybe this is styling. Audience means that I could probably add um, different contacts. Um, automate, I'm sure those are sequences. Campaigns are probably just one-offs. And then um, create, I don't know if those are maybe templates or something. Um, and I can also create a campaign here. So I assume clicking campaigns and create campaign will do the same thing. What do you think about the color styling and layout of this product? I mean, I'm not nuts about the font. Um, it looks kind of like old almost. Um, all the other fonts except for like this top part look nice. Um, I guess this maintenance, um, probably want to X out of that. Um, overall, I think it does look nice. Um, there's just a lot of stuff on this dashboard. And it looks like this account's never been used. Um, but I'd say overall, I do like it seems like these navigation tabs are kind of intuitive here. Um, I guess it would make more sense once my contacts are actually in here. <clears throat> and there's um, Help Center. It'd be nice to have a little chat bot there um, just to ask questions because I'm sure I'd have a million questions setting up. Um, MailChimp, we use SendGrid, so I'm, I'm not totally sure on MailChimp. Imagine you want to add 500 contacts to MailChimp. How would you do that? So how I would do that is I'd probably... Um, so do I want to create an audience list? Let me see if, oh no, that's wrong. Okay, so let me click audience. Okay, so this is how I would do it. So if I had to do 500, what I would probably do is, up, um, is import it. Just move this up. Um, so, sync, okay, so that's not relevant to us. 
Let's manually add a contact. Nope. Create a landing page. So not now, but so I'm going to click import your contacts. So yeah, I'd probably do it via a CSV. Um, so I'd click that and then click continue. Um, again, I would upload the file and then I'd expect to like basically map the different, um, map the different headers to the respective um, file header, I guess. How would I even say this? I'd basically map name, email, company, all that. Um, I wonder if there's like a, can I download a template? Yeah, so it doesn't look like a download. I think this just, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, those are tips. I would love to be able to download an actual template from here that shows this, the CSV and any different templates. Um, permission, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Um, basically this is saying like, oh, everyone gave me permission. Um, yeah, again, I'd want a, a sample template. So maybe if you wrote like samples here or something, you can see that. So, um, that's how I would do that. I guess, what is exit? Yeah. See, I don't like, I kind of just want a back button of some sort. Um, and continue to match, I guess like continue to map would kind of resonates more with me and not match. So I would say I, this just needs to be a better back button to get out. I'm looking at the top left a little bit more. Um, I guess exit, I would go to dashboard. I don't know what is source. Oh, oh, okay, got it. Yeah, maybe it would be nice as a stepper. So it was like uh, one source, two, upload, three, map, or something like that, because I don't know what to expect. Um, I guess I could click back, return to dashboard. How would you rate the process of adding context to MailChimp? Um, I'm going to give it a three because one is missing templates. So I'd want to see a template of a CSV. Um, it could just be a blank template with dummy information. It was kind of hard to know the different steps involved and then also to back out of that, um, that different workflow. So here. So again, I have to back out here. Um, how would you create an automation sequence? Please perform that now. Huh. I guess I'll automate. And then I go to email. I did not expect a pop-up. Kind of expected to go to a page. So, so regular is just a campaign. Um, and that's just a regular one-off email and regular, sorry, this is a one-off email and I guess regular is a one-off email. It's just a campaign. So automate um, tags. Okay, so this is more manual. So if I tag someone, um, let's say as blog or something, they'd get the blog email or blog automation. Um, okay, so this is basically, okay, so basically if someone basically signs up, they'll get those, it'll fire off automatically. We're not in e-commerce, I'm not totally sure. Be based, okay, happy birthday. Okay, those are on specific dates, it seems, and they're recurring yearly. API. Okay, yeah, I don't really understand what the API stuff is. It's an, oh, it doesn't totally feel like it belongs here, but um, so I'm gonna, Let's say, huh, can I, what does custom mean? I guess those are templates then. So I'm gonna do that and click begin. Okay, so I can imagine, I also, I like the descend grid design a bit better. Um, okay, so I guess this, I'd have to upgrade, but I like the send grid design a bit better. It's a little cleaner. Um, it basically says, so I don't, I like how send grid has, it's an email and then in between it, there's like a line and it says, um, one day after or something like that. To hear this trigger, like I'm assuming the triggers on this card. I feel like it should be in between different emails. Um, so I do it and then I probably click design email and I go through the process. Yeah, okay, so here, I like this little stepper here. So, okay, this is just all the naming and subject line and stuff. Okay, and then I assume template is where I could pick a different template. Um, so basically, yeah, this is what I was expecting. So if I click this, I can add different text and photo. Let's probably have my copy team do that. So we have a bunch of copywriters. And then I design it over here. And I click save and continue. And that will probably go back to this screen. Yeah. And it would have this. Yeah. So that makes sense. I'm going to give it a four just because the design wasn't great. Um, and then also like it was a little confusing. What's a template? Like I didn't under custom. Like it, it wasn't abundantly clear that everything that showed up one, it was well first that there was going to be a pop-up that showed up Two, the tabs weren't totally clear. Meaning like, I didn't know which was a, a 
which was a template and which was one that I could customize. So I assume I can't customize any of the templates except the text maybe, and maybe an image or so. And it was a little confusing in that sense. Um, but overall, you know, it, it wasn't too tricky. How would you create an embeddable form for blog visitors to sign up? But yeah, again, it's like, I'm having a hard time like getting out of this. I'm just gonna click the logo. Um, so if I wanna create an embeddable form, I'd probably honestly just search. No, no, I expect results to be like no results. Search for everything. Hmm. Oh, these are my previous camp. I thought I was searching functionality on this website. I didn't realize this was just searching um, people I've added or campaigns I've created. Um, hmm. Brand. Probably not there. Automate. No. Create. I'll probably create a. Landing page isn't quite embeddable. So I guess I'm gonna click sign up form. I think that's it. Again, like I didn't realize everything here would be pop-ups. I figured they'd be different pages. So here I'm embeddable form. So landing page, oh, I guess there's different ways to get to that. Cause I wouldn't expect to see landing page on somewhere I clicked form. And then, whoa, okay. I did not expect that at all. Wow, yeah, that's really confusing. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna click embeddable form. And here I can go and change everything here. I can take out the, uh, the required field indicators, uh, disable JavaScript. And then I basically, once I complete this and custom, well, how do I customize this? Let's say I want to take out birthday. How do I do that? Um, advanced maybe? Cool. So if I want to take out some things, how do I, how would I take out? Do I have to go into the code and delete this? Yeah, that's really confusing to me. Yeah, so I, I have no idea how to like remove who I don't know why people like why this is the form that was chosen. I feel like I should be able to like minus here and then click plus down here and it will say like I don't know add. Um, add a checkbox or something or add another input form and I can name it. Um, yeah, this is kind of weird. So I think I, I think I got it though. I'm going to read it at two. So hard for me to find it at first. When I finally found it, there was that weird screen where I clicked the back button and there was like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I also can't customize this, which I would want to. So overall it was pretty difficult. How likely I recommend this project to a friend. Um, so currently we send grid. I would say I, I would give it like, so I'm gonna probably give it a four. It looks a little more built out than SendGrid. Um, but again, like I probably need to spend a lot of time digging into their help center to understand how to use it because things look hidden and a bit confusing um, to do at first. And SendGrid is very nice and clean. This, like the font and stuff, it's just like a lot of information that's like, screaming at you at once. But I would say I, I, the reason I would, I'm likely to recommend it is just because the, the level of functionality is really high and looks like there's more than SendGrid too.